All right, welcome to day two. Sometimes there's a lag, so I'll wait to okay. do the announcements for the replay. I'm excited for this craft. Are you? Yes, I love crafts that look like you can eat them. Yes, these are so fun. They're really fun to make. They're fun. I'm gonna actually pull this this way. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I'm trying to find comments. Hopefully we can read them from here. Um, okay, so today is day two of our Christ Hope International fundraiser. Um, all week long, I'm going live on YouTube and Instagram. I'll be live on Instagram at 1 PST today with, I believe, Katie from the De Devlin Diaries. Oh, I can't wait to watch that. I know. I'm just going to be crafting my stash, so I'm probably going to be starting a Tumblr that I'm going to be blinging. For your mom, um, right? For my mom. Aww. Um, I'll stop saying that after this. I'm going to be blinging a Tumblr for someone. I don't know if she'll start watching eventually or if she already has. Oh, but whoops. if she does. <laughs> no, I already said it yesterday. So oh. I was like, but if she does, then. It's not for you, Aunt just, Becky. <laughs> she can just know that um, that's what we're, that's, she can know. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> okay. um, so today we're making faux whipped topping with a new recipe. Last year I did it and I was just like my first time and I was like, what the heck is this? I need a better recipe. So now we have a better recipe. Hey Tamra. Okay, so before we start, we're gonna talk about the giveaway and the organization really quick. Um, we ended yesterday with a really good number, but we're Great starting number. today with an even higher number. Ooh, I can't wait to hear her. I've been asking her. She's like, you just have to wait till the live. I didn't say that. I said, I already know. She did. Yeah. Not. Is that what you hear? You're like, she does Sometimes I make up my own words. I've, I've learned. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what you thought I said. All right, we are starting the day off with $1,980. Whoa. We're almost, we are like, what was that? $20 away from $2,000. That's incredible. And I said that if we hit three, what did I say? If we hit. I think 3,000. Well, I, did I say 3,000 or did I say 10,000? Oh, 10, for Wednesday. 10,000. For Wednesday? Yes. Okay, yes. but today, if we hit 3,000 by the end of this hour, I will add something fun. Ooh. What should I add? That's the question. Do we have options? Um, Somewhere in like the $150 range every time we hit another $1,000. Really? Yeah. That's I think, awesome. Yeah, I want to donate too. I want to, everybody else has donated it. I mean, I got this thingy, and but you are putting so much time and effort into it that I want. It's becoming so beautiful. Let me yeah. See so we are going to try to get to that. You guys can donate through the link in the description. Um, I'm also going to comment it and pin it right here. Perfect. And um, when you donate, you get entered into the raffle for the prize that you donate to. However many tickets you buy, so if you buy like $20 worth of tickets for one prize, you get four tickets into that raffle. Um, so make our job nice and hard because we have to write down all of your guys' names on Saturday and put them into a, this raffle copter fun thing and do this drawing. It's going to be so fun. Lovely. What are you doing over there, Tiffany? I am blinging a cricket. So you guys, this is one of the prizes that you guys can win. Check it out. I'll show you my progress. Um, I don't know what model this is. Tay can tell you. The Explorer, the Explorer Air. 3. There you go. She's a noob still. I know. Will be. And I call it the circuit <laughs> sometimes. So forgive me. But I am blinging this with Duchess. Um, and someone's going to win this amazing machine. So if you don't have 30 hours to bling it yourself, buy a $5 raffle and get entered in to win it. Because she's mm -hmm. beautiful. She is so beautiful. I'm excited. I can't wait. Ugh, I'm going to have to just slowly bling mine over the next five Good years. Luck. Good luck. I'm just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna do an inch while I have a moment. Um yes, it is so pretty. Yeah. It's stunning. Let me show you one more time. Um and we'll we'll be doing some fun things with it. It's like it's gorgeous. can you guys see this in your craft room? Like it's gorgeous. Stunning. I would change my whole craft room around just for that. Right? Like, I, I would, love it. Yes. Um also, we are featuring a few fun giveaways today. So thank you to Expressions Vinyl. They are giving away the vinyl kit that is every color of vinyl that they carry. Icon Art Stencil Maker, we're giving away, they are giving away an entire set. So you guys can wow. get started on Icon Art Stencil Making. 
and Create Room Co. Yes, Create Room Co. Who is like the creator of the Dream Box? You know, they're giving away a Dream Cart, which is a five hundred dollar item. You got some like really good. Yeah sponsors yeah i went with my three fave sponsors this year i was gonna reach out to a bunch of sponsors but then i was like you know what i want to do the three that have really come alongside me in the last couple years mm -hmm. and i want to just really focus on them and talk about them because they're awesome and then our influencers so so many um, amazing things from them we have 19 different winners from influencer donations that will be also given away our influencers are the craftiest humans on the planet mm -hmm. and they so many of them have offered to make something and give it away or already have made something to give it away um, so follow me on Instagram to see who they are and follow them as well but today we're talking about Kana from Crafting and Crayons. She is donating two sublimated mugs using our two worlds, one family. Uh, Taylor from All Things Crafte is donating a mini backpack and tumbler. It's super cute. Uh, and Kristen from Homemade by Kristen is donating a Christmas tumbler and a $15 Starbucks gift card. So if you win that tumbler, you're all, maybe we'll do those separately. I don't know. Well, Stephanie knows all the rules for that. But I love it. Yeah. What I love most about the influencer raffle tickets and giveaway is these are handmade pieces by that artist and creator, which is so cool. Yep. Thanks, Melissa C for donating. Thanks, Ashley Ooh. S for donating. Thanks, Allison M for donating. Get Stephanie's it, on the back end getting all the dings every time you guys donate. So I actually was gonna tell Steph you should try to get someone taking video of you hearing all the dings so we can put that into the end video. Clean my gong. <laughs> ding, ding. I know I you love it. I hate your gong. <laughs> I hate the gong with a passion. She's like, we need a new sound. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying so hard to watch your live and I was like, the gong is so annoying. Someone actually got really upset and was like, I'm leaving. I can't with the gong. My child's sleeping. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> I think it was just a day like Emmy had it. It was just like gonging it. She like, was. Crazy. That's yeah. the day you Yeah, and I was remember. like, I'm out. I'm out. This is my own platform and I'm not watching it. Bye-bye. <laughs> I purchased a couple while I was waiting for the live. Woo, thank you so yes. much, Susan. Um, Stephanie said she woke up to dings. Obviously, we raised a bunch of money over the last time we were live till now so i'm so excited another way you guys can um help just spread the word about what we're doing so that more people get excited for this event is share this youtube video whether it's on facebook or i don't know how else you would share where else do you share Twitter? I, Do people share things on Twitter? I don't have a Twitter. I don't know how to tweet. I don't know how to tweet <laughs> yeah, at all. I'm, like, I'm, I'm so not a tweeter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a tweeter either. I am not a tweeter. Okay, so Christ Open International, um, I have a video actually on YouTube from last year that kind of highlights my journey with them, but I have been partnered with them for the last 11 years now, maybe even longer. Um, I originally went in 2007. And then again in 2000, no, 2010. And then again in 2017, uh, when my kiddos were babies and then when they were a little older and my goal is to get the, my kids there with me to meet all of our sponsored kids. Did, wait, did you take the kids with you? No. Oh, okay. My first trip, the girls were 18 months and three. Oh, okay. It was so crazy leaving them behind for three weeks, but it was actually life changing because Briley, we were just going through a season where like, Dustin was working 24-7. He had his own business, and he just did not understand how hard it is to be a stay-at-home mom when you have little kids. And even though I lined up, like, every single babysitter to have them and, like, food meal delivery for them as if they had just had a baby or whatever, <laughs> like, I, I set everything up so that it was the easiest it could be for him. But, like, when I got back, he was just like, it's never been the same. He's like, I will never say, like, being a stay-at-home mom is easy ever again and it was just it was life-changing for us on the back end that's like, awesome and then i think i mean there's always so much that goes into doing the lord's work but like you don't realize also all of the little things he's orchestrating yeah and that was life-changing and so even till this day he's like i will never say like i it was just hard because it was like he was you know making the money for the family and i was taking care of the babies at the time and then i was like i want to leave for three weeks and then he had to do it all and he's yeah. like whoa yeah 
And he had my mom to help him and my sister to help him. And he had my friends to help him and some other people from church who chose to step in and help with the kids. So it's like he had a ton. Like he, he still got to go to work every day. Like he didn't take any time off. But just coming home to being like the only person to take care of them. He was like, this is hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's exhausting. It makes me think of like single parents out yeah. there, you know. And one thing I've never shared about my Africa trip, and I, it's interesting that like all these at-home things are coming to my mind, is um, my passion for photography started in Africa. And my camera had actually gotten stolen in, it was not It was just like some janky point-and-shoot camera that I was going to take. And um, actually, it was it was a nice little point and shoot camera. It was like, I was always taking pictures, but when I went to Africa, one of the ladies I went with loved photography. And so she was taking pictures and actually I had always wanted a DSLR. Mm -hmm. Like that was like my big thing that I've always wanted so I could do all my own photography. But while I was there, I was like, I think I'm going to go home and get myself like invest in myself and I'm going to do photography. And Dustin actually I came home to a DSLR. Aww. I didn't, we, there was no way to communicate back then in 2010. Uh-huh. You literally had to email and pray that the Wi-Fi worked uh-huh. for it to get through. So I like didn't tell him at all, like I need a DSLR, I want one. Like he just felt the needs cause my point and shoot was stolen in my bags, which I shared last year. Um, and I had no camera to come home to and he knew how much I loved taking pictures. And so he literally just, he, and then, so what he did was he took the girls to the park and took pictures of them. And then he hung, uh, he printed them in eight by tens and hung them. And then this is like my favorite gift he's ever done. And it's once in a blue moon, I get stuff like this. And I'm like, you really knocked it out of the park. This is, it's really good. But, um, so I like come home and I'm looking at the pictures he took of the girls and I'm like, those are so cute. And then I'm like, how did you take those? My camera's gone. Like it's stolen. And I looked down and I realized like he had it all set up on the table for me. And I was like, that's what I've been wanting. That is the sweetest thing ever. I know. But moving forward, photography is what made me fall in love with videography, which made me love YouTube so much and filming tutorials, like in the photographic, like that's why I really love filming tutorials because I like getting those like aesthetic shots. So going to Africa kind of fueled your YouTube channel and your passion for that. Yep. Wow, that's really cool. Isn't it cool? There's so many weird things that have happened through the whole story that I'm like, okay, God was really orchestrating a lot that I didn't even know was going to happen. I didn't know one day we'd be even raising money on YouTube. Right. Or Christ Hope International. It's like now become like a full circle. Yeah. That's so cool. I gotta get started on this craft before I totally (laughs) don't do it at all. Okay, so I kind of went crazy on faux toppers. I've got all my little practice ones uh, just hanging out in here. I I am going to be doing vinyl decals for all these cups tomorrow. So that's the craft tomorrow. So we'll do that with some expressions, vinyl stuff. Um, but I was originally doing these like cup topper things that you can take off and interchange. And then I was like, that is so extra if I was like walking around like drinking out of this fake cup. Oh, I love it. I love everything extra. Right. And well, what started this was I went on a, a glitter shake glitter binger (laughs) I glitter shaker binger binger the other week I was like I'm gonna try those glitter shaker cups um and I'm gonna leave that to all of you guys who do that and sell them and I'll buy them from now on because I made a few and it just they were fun but was it a lot of work coming up with the ratio mixture is Mm -hmm. a little bit annoying I think I nailed it with this one like it's pretty but I don't I don't know how to do it enough to like teach it to you guys right so I didn't even know that you had to have your own recipe I thought it's just like some little mixture you put in there so no it's glycerin and water and then I tried a bloody one for Halloween with like oil and water and it it, like the girl made it look so easy and I followed her tutorial perfectly and then it just wasn't working like it it looked cool but it doesn't look as cool but I think this one is my favorite and so I did this like faux Mickey whipped thing which we can do on some of the cupcakes because I think that'll look really cute but we're gonna make a little mini one because then I just started using all my extra stuff and putting it on the like contact paper and I made the little straw topper whipped cream. I love it. This was the winner. I so love that. We'll make big ones for the cupcakes and we'll make little ones for our straws. And so I'll show you guys how to do that. I love it. It's cute. Right? Isn't this adorable? And it's so easy. And honestly, if you can frost something, even if you can't frost something, you can still learn how to do this. Um, it's the same as decorating frosting, like 
literally the easiest thing ever. So I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday to grab some extra of these. I had everything I had already gone on Amazon, but because this stuff doesn't like wash out very easily, you want to get like reusable ones or disposable ones. Yeah. And then this is the reusable outside. So, um, and then I got tips. So I will say what all the other people that I've seen do this say, don't reuse this stuff for food. Um, so I have all this at the studio for crafting. Uh, and if I want to make cakes, I need to have my own other things. These are so cute. Aren't those so cute? So these are from Amazon and I only have like 500 of them because I had to buy like a whole box of them. <laughs> they're so cute. So yeah, they're, they're really cute, but I literally had to buy like 400 of them. Cherry on top. Yeah. But ideally I started wanting to make these because we do so many party decor kits that I want to have a lot of faux cupcakes in our stash so that we can just pop them, like pop the cupcake toppers and the wrappers onto faux cupcakes. So I'm not always having to buy cupcakes and we can make them super cute. So we're going to do white and pink today. Um, if you guys want me to do more for the holiday season, I'm going to be live a lot. It seems like they passed us quite a bit, so that's good, the noise. Yeah, they were doing construction again. I was like, what a great week for them to like yeah. work on your studio building. Literally woke up this morning, or well, I came here, and they were outside this window. Like, they would have been in this window with us, and yeah. I think it would have been kind of it funny. It would have been funny. It was just really loud. I think being in there is, is awesome, but the noise is a little much. I'm a noise person, obviously. <laughs> like, you don't like noise? I hate noises. Like, hate them. So we're going to start with white. And so you need lightweight spackle. That's all you need for this. And it makes it super easy. Dustin had to go get me another pack. He's like, it went up by $10 at Lowe's. And I was like, it's because all these moms and people, DIYers, are probably using it for, well, not really. There's like a shortage of everything. Right yeah, now. there so, is because all the trucking companies and yeah. like ports and stuff. Right? So many I'm excited issues. to watch this. This looks so neat. Yeah, it's really fun and it's addicting. Cause like if you like making cupcakes, but you don't, I don't like eating cupcakes. Do you? Yeah, I love eating cupcakes. You're a cup, I'm not a cupcake. Love I'm a them. cookie person. I, I love cookies too, but I love all sweets. I'm not. I'm not like a cupcake eater. Mm. Like I can't just binge cupcakes. I'm I not can. a cake and cupcake person. I'm fun, ice Betty? cream. Well, yeah, but I'm not gonna like eat all the cupcakes i might eat one but like a cookie i'll just literally grab a cookie and eat them so which your favorite cookie is weird oh yeah can you guys guess what her favorite although cookie is? i will say i think i have a new favorite cookie Ooh. since i found out that they have the dough for it Ooh. which some people might know from my instagram live on halloween um tell me you gotta you gotta guess oh you want me to but, guess the new cookie well no but what is what is my favorite cookie i know that it's funny that everyone it's bad because nobody eats these. Everyone brings these cookies, but nobody eats them. And then I'm left with so many of them. It's the cookie your grandma made where you're like, ew, grandma. <laughs> nobody I said mean. that to my grandma's cookies. We all loved her, those cookies. And she actually put chocolate chips in hers and it ruined it because I liked mine. Ooh, I like mine with chocolate chips. Nope. I like making a chocolate. Well, I have to wait until they guess your favorite cookie and then I'll tell you're you. You're going to be surprised how many people love it. Yeah. Uh, Lisa said oatmeal raisin. Yes. Courtney says oatmeal raisin yum. Um, <laughs> I'm not down with it. Dude, it's the texture. It's like the best texture on earth. So I like doing chocolate chip cookies and then I put like a little bit of oats in it. And then yeah. it's like an oat chocolate That's chip. That's how my grandma used to do it. And she would, she cut the flour with the chalk, with the, the oatmeal. Yeah. So to give it the texture, but then not have the raisins in yeah. it. So you might have been a lot like her. Or like, I would think like a craisin. Have you had like a craisin cookie? No. Why? That's so extra. Just, <laughs> Don't it's so extra. amazing <laughs> with just raisins. Uh, Kim says oatmeal raisin is my fave. Clarita loves oatmeal raisin. I Whatever. Make, Missy <laughs> says I make the best chocolate chip cookies. So... We're going to have to have a bake off because we I are. make the best chocolate chip cookies. My whole point with this was this is like the fun of making it, but you don't have to be like, oh, now I have so many cupcakes left at my house that I've got to like Eat. say no to every day. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm not the best at making. I want to like fully fill this with white though because we are going to be doing a lot of white. This is like just satisfying even to like, like, the texture looks fun to play with and yeah, like squeeze. It's, yeah, and it's literally just like frosting. It's really cool. 
Like it looks a little like you'll see it gets up. It gets really smooth, but it looks like it's the lightweight. So it's can I frost one? I suppose I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> really like it's a Minecraft. Um, Just one, please. <laughs> you always spark Grandma Martha themes. <laughs> Actually, it was one of the times she was really nice to me. Her... Did she let your frosting come? No, someone, someone was being really mean to me as a kid. And it it probably could have detrimentally stopped my entire crafting career. What you don't even you? know. You don't no. even know. Okay. No, so, tell me. I used to go stay at my cousin's house for like a week uh. during the summertime. And they were very crafty. Oh my gosh, I freaking failed at life. What? I didn't put the tip in. And they're probably over here being like, you need to put the tip in. <laughs> yep, see, Erica just said, Tay, you forgot it's the tip. because we're talking too much. I'm distracting you. Okay, no more talking. Okay. Just kidding. That makes it all the fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tip in to this one and I'm going to transport or I'm going to figure it out. I actually didn't know you put the tip in first to be quite No, look honest. at this. I am a genius. I am a genius. I need to cut more of that. Watch this. Nope, that might be too big. But that's okay because I'm going to go like this. Perf. Because I am a genius. Actually, I need to cut. Oh, Maybe oh, I'm oh. not a genius. Oh, what happened? Did it stay in this? Yeah, because oh, because <laughs> oh, that just happened. I was like, wait, how's this gonna work? Yeah, so put it'll that, be fine. Yeah. I just need to do this one just like small that? so it can go through that in that. Okay. No, put it in that. I so. know, but I need it to be able to go into that. I think it still will. And then if you put that in that thing, <laughs> or I could just start a whole new one. Too much work. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this Sorry. might end my crafting career. No way. Could. It's these little things that make crafting all the more fun. Right? This is my crafting. <laughs> That's why crafting with other people is fun, but then you're like, I don't know, maybe because there's so many elements to what I'm going to be doing. banned from tomorrow's video. No. Get out of here! You ruined the craft all the time. Okay, so back to my story now that we're back on track. But see, that needs to be like. You might just have to redo it, Tay, and scoop it all in a new one. I think it just needs to be bigger because okay. it's just coming through the whole thing and then it'll just sit. Yeah, and to get the air out and stuff. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. please. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. Perfect. We're good. We're good. Golden. And then you put it in this to protect it? Is that what you do? I have I'm no idea. I've been my life with this. I, don't, I wouldn't use the sheet because I like to see what's, Okay. you know? So, all right. Let's make a cupcake. <laughs> I used to go there for the summer and um, I get there and you know it's just a typical week of the summer <laughs> and I, maybe it wasn't we were making Christmas sweater maybe it wasn't the summer I don't know irrelevant um, so we're making Christmas sweaters and I guess it's like their tradition to make huh. puff painted Christmas sweaters and I've never really puff painted and I was probably like six or seven I don't even know but I'm like sitting there and I'm now I know what I did wrong because I'm a professional crafter but I didn't at the time so I like go to squeeze it and I like blob it on the the sweater and my cousin just like freaks out and is like this is why I didn't want her to get after with me she's gonna ruin it and, like oh. she's just a kid and like she just was like thinking Brit? out loud don't say her name oh I'm sorry <laughs> I have enough cousins that I can talk about all of them equally and no one will know who it is. Sorry. But yeah, but um, then my aunt was like, no, it's fine. She can do it. She'll be fine. And my cousin was just like, no, she can't do it. She's not allowed. That's funny. Well, with her, but never mind. What? Well, I was going to say with her profession too, she's so oh, yeah. like, it's like the perfectionism and stuff. Yeah. But we were kids. Yeah. We were little. Well, of course. But all still, kids that's funny. fight. Oh, yeah, to all, say the least. All siblings have horror stories of, like, how they treated each other, I feel like. Oh, my gosh. I could tell you some stories, and I'm sure you're the same. Yeah. All my siblings are a lot older than me, so I don't have very many, like, horror stories with my own siblings. But, man, I would, like, stay the night at my friends' houses who had siblings who were close <laughs> to each other. And I'd be like, I'm leaving. You guys are crazy. Like, 
crazy scary stuff. I'd be like, I'm not, I would I, chase my sister around with a Windex bottle and spray her all through the house with chemicals. <laughs> She <laughs> fell because there was so much Windex on the tile and oh. chipped her tooth, you guys. Oh, <laughs> so, my God. Yeah, like, it's crazy. That's awful. I know. We were so mean to each other. Yeah, I hear Could you imagine stories. Briley and them, like, oh, spraying would... Windex on each other? Dude, like... I... That's why we have cameras in our house, because I can watch them when I'm not there and be like, nope. Nope, we're not doing that. If you oh. want a life, you're not going to put down the Windex bottle. Oh, I can't believe I did that. It's like... <laughs> so funny, though. Oh. But not at the same time. Right. This spackle, I don't know if it's drying out because it's my old... I might want to try my new Do you want spackle. me to hold the cupcake so it doesn't move around? I could put it in the thingy. Okay. No, you keep blinging. Okay. You've got bling to do. I feel like I'm distracting you more than you're distracting no me. No way. It's fun to bling with someone to talk to because usually I just do this at home on the couch. Right. Um, Katie said, do you remember that from Amazon? Did you tell that story on Amazon? Probably. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> Probably. There's like... so many stories I forget I tell. And people are like, oh my gosh, I remember that. They're like, bring stuff up. I'm like, I said that? I talked about that? I feel like as you get older, you forget what you say and then you tell the story like 80 times, you well, know? Especially when I used to go live, like all the time, I was always just blabbing. It's hard not to with, you know, yeah, little chatterboxes. Right? Yeah, that looks really cute. Yeah, I'm going to make this one a faux Mickey. And then I'll show you all the little embellishments I grabbed on Amazon. So when you actually, how I made these cupcakes, which they painted theirs. I saw all the other people painted theirs. I put a rock in the bottom because this stuff is so light. Like these would just fly away. Mm. So I just went and grabbed some rocks and put them at the base. And then it's just, um expanding foam and you just put a tiny bit in there and let it expand and it becomes a little cupcake oh that's really interesting yeah i love that there's a lot of tutorials on the internet so i didn't want to recreate the wheel i just wanted to do it and have right. fun <clears throat> um not able to get an update now my two older sisters were very girly girls so no horror stories there but my younger brother and i were a whole nother story. Oh, gosh. I can only imagine the brother and sister dynamic. Oh, yeah. Ugh, so Any other funny. horror stories? Like, what are the funniest stories? Or is on. there other... Can anybody give us hope and tell me that, like, some siblings... My kids genuinely, like, they don't like each other sometimes, but they get along really well. Yeah. Oh, that Your me. girls are good together. Yeah, they've always the kind of been really good. They went through a little bout back when they're both homeschooled and if they were together too much but once they got their own room like that was night and day that's so funny because my whole life we always had to share a room me and larissa mm -hmm. and then the one house we lived in where we had our own rooms we would have Broke our like part. no we yeah. literally wanted to sleep with yeah each other's. you have like sleepovers and stuff yeah and every night we would just like switch off rooms and still sleep with each other but we had our own it was just so weird it's like how we, did you get along when you guys had to share a room though i mean fine because that's all we ever knew right but when we had the opportunity to have our own and sleep separately we like never wanted to right so it's just kind of odd funny i want to get my other spackle this stuff is getting hard um this also takes like a day and a half to fully fully dry so you gotta oh, leave wow. these out um all right there we go now i'm gonna make some mickey ears on these guys um yeah, it was, it, we went through a season where it was like, when they were little, sharing room was great. They were like, I have my best friend with me. Like, Aww. we get to be silly and stay up or wake up and we have friends with us right when we wake up. But when they started getting older, it wasn't actually that they didn't get along. It was that they would not go to bed, like, oh. at all. And Landis would, like, instigate it. And Briley was just little and be like, ha my mom's driven nuts and my sister's being crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and watch and then if I feel like jumping in I will and it got real bad <laughs> how far apart are they two years yeah that's me and Larissa too yeah I love it I wanted them a little closer together but yeah I love it you'll have a they'll have best friends for life right my three-year-old picks on my five-year-old girl three-year-old boy picks on five-year-old girl yeah we the brother sister dynamic is crazy my brother is six years younger, so pretty much grew up like an only child. Yeah, my siblings are all half siblings, and then my brother and I are five years apart, but then my sisters are seven years, nine years, and 11 years older than me, and they have different other families. So 
I was pretty much an only child. I have a lot more only child like issues than I do like sibling issues. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know, but he scared me for a minute. Yeah. He's just yelling down to the other people. Oh, looks so cute. Okay, so does he look like a foam Mickey? Yes. Does he need more roundishness? Do a little bit more on this ear. This side? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I recommend oh, keeping so <laughs> We're gonna embellish. We only happy mistakes, okay? <laughs> No mistakes here. Oh, happy accident. Okay, I, look, I can just I can just put a little another layer on there. No one's gonna know. No oh. one's gonna know. <laughs> How would they know? Oh. All right, let's just go big. Yeah, go big. Bigger ears. Bigger ears. Yeah, that looks good. They need to balance each other out, though. They need to be because of the weight. Even though there's not much weight in this spackle stuff. You can tell they're light. That rock really does. Yeah, nice. this one has a She's little a rock. Rockin'. This one's a little heavier. I should have started with that guy. Okay, let's finish him so I can move him on. Um, I'm going to put, I got these guys on Amazon. Ooh. There's like these little candies. And then I got cherries and bees because I always love bees for everything. And the I have chocolate somewhere too. But maybe I'll grab them. There was like a little bin of these of chocolates. You want me to go look downstairs? No, it would be in one of those bins right there. Okay, look. But look at these cute guys, and you can do a little bow, candy bow, or oh, I can make a little. Okay, we're gonna do one of our toppers with ears that are made out of lollipops. So cute! Because that is too cute. Look at all these little lollipops. Chocolates and pretzels. Oh my gosh! Yes. Those, yeah, those are cute. So and then I got these chocolates and pretzels, which I think will be cute. Oh, uh, and you could do the little, oh my gosh. It makes me think of lollipop, guys. lollipop, oh, lolly, lollipop, lollipop, but boom, 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 boom. Oh, they have these little sugar babies right here too, the little lifesavers. Those are so cute. Those are adorable. You could, I could do ears with those. Oh, they have a bunch of them. Okay. These We're are obsessed. cute. Are they not so cute? Oh, look at this little gum. Oh, I like... love it. Okay. Go do the lollipops first. The lollipops. Will I'm gonna be do those darling. on the um, like the little baby ones. Oh yes. I think if I if they'll hold up. That'd but be cute. okay, so we have that, and then I want to do a chocolate because I kind of want these to be more. I don't know what I want them to be. Making me hungry with the candy talk. Sorry. Thanks, Laura C, for donation. Yes. Uh, how's the blinging going? Lisa's asking. It's going great. Hopefully I'll be done with all this, but like this section, because there's just a little bit of blank in there, if you guys can see right here. And then I can do the final third of this before the seventh. I want to get this done by the end of the, the giveaway, so it's just ready to ship. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then I'm going to just spritz a little bit of glitter on the top. Oh, I love that. A little bit of this. Ooh. And then he's so cute and he'll fall over if I don't put him somewhere safe. But look what he looks like. Aww, oh my gosh, so I love cute. it. I have this ugly pie tin thing. We need to spray paint that pink. Right? Or I need to get one for here. That's why that's mine from home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But or I can get myself some new ones and spray paint that on pink. Um should it put a should I put a cherry on this one or should I not? I like the cherry like what about Either putting it behind the chocolate or putting it on the other ear to balance out the chocolate. No, what do you know? Too yeah, much? Yeah. I feel like that's. I think, I don't know. Maybe or not. I have a pearl. I like the pearls. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I want them all to kind of balance each other out when I they're together. That. We'll see how many we get done. Taking a while here, huh? Okay, I'm let sorry. me make a straw topper. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. <laughs> Like That's what crafting is. You get like lost in the craft. Right. I just want to show how to do the straw toppers because those are the best. They're so cute. And all you need is like a parchment paper and your spackle. And then we'll make some pink ones. Um, so you want to make it fully Mickey eared. And then in a few hours, you'd come in with your straw and like stab it through the middle. So you want to leave a space where your straw is going to go, but you don't want to do it when it's super wet. You want to do it when it's like not fully dry, but not, like 
like three hours, four hours. Um, good question. Uh, you put color when you mix it. Yes. Erica has a question. How do we add color? I will do a pink one in a second. So um, we will do that afterwards. I've got, I got food coloring from Amazon as well. I also got mica powders, but I didn't use them in the frosting. I just used those on my cups. Okay, so I want to make a few different ones. I want to make just a, um, so I'm going to just make a circle. And you can make them as big as you want, but. Almost looks like a rose from this angle. That's yeah. really cute. And I'm not the best at icing. So the more you play with it, the more, and if you don't like it, you can scoop it up and put it back in. Mm. So you don't have to like be committed. You can play around with different shapes and different textures. Um, I I don't like the points on them though, because I want them to look like little Mickey's. You see that? So cute. And then I want to, I don't know if these will hold in here, but I want to do one little daub. I'll do them this way so I have more room. Just like a circle base and then slowly come up to make that top and then like pull backwards so that he might need a little bit. I'll do another one. He's too poop looking. <laughs> like I said, you can play around with shapes. If you don't like them, it's not the end of the world. You can put it back or you can. It would be fun to, too to experiment with different icing tips and mm -hmm. see what it, you know. Yeah, and the set that I got has like 16 or something. Cute. tips so tons of different tips so if you know how to use tips then i don't this really. is the craft for you yeah i'm not i'm not like i feel like everyone you're doing is just getting better and better to be honest yeah that's how it was last time i did them too like they were yes okay i just was afraid it's not like as oh, oh my god gosh! that's so, so cute. cute i love that oh. okay so these are adorable and like six for three hours, come in with your straw, like just a, like you can even get a plastic straw that you're not gonna, you know, like a disposable one. I know that's like the end of the world. Right. Don't use those, but something to make a hole in the middle when they're still, but not right now, because they're still a little soft. So cute. All right. Okay, we'll make a bunch of white ones and then we'll go in and make a pink. Or I might use the rest for one, um, One, um, did you want to try one? Are you going to allow me? Yeah. Or do you want to do a cupcake? I don't care. I'll try one of these really quick since okay. you're doing them. I'm scared. I'm going to put a little glitter on mine. Okay. Okay. Am I in your way? No, you're fine. She's going big. Go big or go home. Oh, it's so satisfying. You're good at that. Now what? Stop right here? I don't know. Make sure the center's kind of has okay. some filling in there. And then, do whatever you want. Okay, this is so good. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do like a, like you try to do the schmoosh. Yeah. Like this. So yours would probably fit on a, but the straw's going to go right. Well, I guess oh, we could. Oh, yeah. Oh, we could. Could you do a side straw? I know that's what you were thinking, well, huh? Yeah, I was trying to think how you would do, I mean, for, if you were to do your hole this way and put it on, like, a mug. Oh, okay. Because the straws on the Starbucks ones go straight up and down. So maybe I should just go like this, like, move my little schmooch. Yeah, move your schmooch to the side. Okay, so press it down, and then just maybe go Yeah, and then you can go from... <laughs> See, that's <laughs> My, oh, I'm, I brought my um, I brought my starters to show you guys. That was weird. Look how big my first one was. It was like this mound, and then I was like, "Where is it gonna go?" Like, <laughs> it covers the whole straw. Dang it! And then I did this like pepperminty one, and I don't know. It just actually this peppermint one is really cute. I started with like styrofoam balls in the center, and then they were just too big, and I was like, "Who needs even?" styrofoam balls you just need to make it no so, like, i like them super i like the mickey ears that you're doing because you have the ears like center it out yes. where the straw goes yeah and you could put like the bow on the front side or and then the straw could go behind the bow or it's like kind of addicting though like once you start squeezing and going it's like you don't want to stop because it's like super satisfying yeah yeah that was fun do you want to try a cupcake or later you, okay. you keep doing your crap okay. girl 
I, I'll let you try with um, the pink because it'll be with my new spackle. And yes. it's, it's different. Okay, this guy weighs more. So I'm going to just do one more cupcake. And hopefully, I think we got to... Maybe warming it up helps too. Like, oh, yeah, like in your hands too. Yeah. Just like maybe kneading it in yeah. there. But if you don't want to frost like all the way down to the bottom, they painted theirs. This would be a fun craft to do with your kids because... Yeah. It's satisfying. Mm -hmm. You know how all the kids are in the slime and stuff? So they yeah. get to, like, still, like, mix and, yeah. you know. I thought, too, what would be fun, too, maybe, like, leftover Halloween candy. Um, maybe not. <laughs> Where are you going with it? I was going to say, like, to take your leftover Halloween candy and use it as, like, the toppings. But then you would have to cover them somehow in some kind of, Right, like, like maybe, like, a spray Mod Podge or something. Ooh. I have seen people use, like, real sprinkles. I wasn't all about that life because I was, like, ants, and I don't want yeah. to, like, get rid of them if something happens. Sometimes I don't think about the things I say out loud. It's okay. You're a, you're a brainstormer. That's true. Um, there's an arrow saying there's more comments, but I can't see them. Why are we frozen? No. There we go. Oh, wait, what happened? What happened? There they are. I love making faux foods this summer. What are we at? I love faux foods. So, if you guys are just joining, we are raising money for Christ Hope International, which is an organization in Africa that helps um, orphaned children. And we're crafting all week long. Okay, my Mickey ears are a little jinky on this one. That's okay. Uh, there's a link in the description to donate. <clears throat> And I forgot my cards today. What so cards? from my kids. Oh, I will yeah. bring them eventually. But this craft actually had me the most like checklisted. I was like, okay, I need this and I need that and I need more piping bags and I need the rest of the crafts are like stuff I do a, a lot. So this is something new in your world. Yeah, I'm not I'm not always doing this, so they're so cute. Yeah, that looks really cute. I also have a cute um, cupcake stand I got at a th uh, garage sale that I can put all these in. Cool. So I used all that white. We're going to make pink. Let me get him all glittered and put some fancies on him. Because we fancy like Applebee's on a date night. I always sing that song. So do we. Me do and me. Well, my um, fiance loves going to Applebee's. It's by his house. Yeah. So he's like an Applebee's regular. So That's when we awesome. go there, we start singing it. You guys fancy like. Yeah. I can't really see what it looks like, but I feel like it looks. Good. I love it. I love the chocolate with the um, cherry. I love the red and the brown. A little chocolate cookie. Yes, I wish so there was. Cute. I wish. Oh, it's a macaron. Oh my gosh. It's only one side. So do you make your own? Probably. Oh, I don't see the other side. Um, you have to buy two kits to make one, I guess. Lame. But I really wish there were two of these little chocolate buttons because then I can make a little Mickey ear button. Yeah, I would. If you're going to buy this little chocolate set, I would probably get two so you can match. Yeah. I forgot to decorate Aww. these guys. Are they so cute? I love it. Um, I the lollipops are my fave. Oh, do the little gummy ears? Oh, on one of these? Yeah, on one of these little guys. Okay. I think they're so sweet. Blue and purple, or do you have matching? No. Where's the uh right here? Let me see. Maybe there's more in here. Yeah, the gummies are cool because they're like they have like that sugar on them. Mm -hmm. Or little gummy bears. Are there gummy bears in here? There's one gummy bear right there. There's oh, look a at the one. pink one. There's a pink one. Oh, yes. So you saw a blue one? Um, no, there's a blue gummy bear right here. Yeah, I didn't see them. They hide. These are so oh, cute. There's a blue oh, look at one? this one's very Christmassy. Let's see. It's what is it? Red and white striped oh, candy. Oh, cute. Maybe you go in here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, I cute. hit the middle. I also want to make holes in these cupcakes so I can put my cupcake holders in them or cupcake toppers. Yeah, there's only um, one of each color, those circles. I saw a blue oh, one. Oh, a blue one. Yeah. Is that what you meant by the blue one? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the gummy bear. I see. I see. I'm with you now. No, I didn't mean the gummy bear, but then I saw the blue one after. Got it. I want to do a blue. Let's see if I have enough to do a blue because I don't want to have, I just want like a little one, you know? Oh, like a little Mickey? Well, I want these to be the ears, not the frosting. Oh, okay, gotcha. 
I could probably make get enough out to make one little guy. One little bloop. <laughs> A very little blue. That's heck of funny. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're straining over there. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're so yeah. Oh no. You're so okay, we're gross. done. We're done. We're done with the white. We're done with the white. Moving on to pink. We're over it. <laughs> We're over it. You're going to go have to go on a pink head. All right. I need. We throw that in the. Yep. Oh, wait. I don't want to throw all of it away. Just flick the. The tip in. off? Yeah. Look, okay. Put that in the garbage too. Okay. So. That was so cute. Oh, that, that will be so cute. Love gummy bears. I don't even know if I have these in my Amazon store or not. I should. Do you want glitter on your poop? Yeah. Okay. On my poop? <laughs> it looks like poop. <laughs> it, looks a lot. it looks like poop. It looks a little <laughs> like poop. I'm just teasing. I mean, a healthy poop. Then we should put a chocolate on there. There you go. You want a chocolate no, on there? No, it's fine. Just leave it. Out. That's yours. I want you to have it however you want it. Okay, I'll look. Oh, this is another half macaron heart. I want to be able to make the whole macaron, macaroon, macaron. Yeah, you definitely have to link those in your store, though, because they're so cute. Chocolate heart. It's so cute. What is it, a chocolate heart? A little heart? chocolate with the heart. It's like Aww. a little candy chocolate with the heart. You guys I can't see them because they're all in a row. How dumb. It's okay. Okay, so I'm going to make up a batch of pink. Ooh, okay. So they're very moldable until, like, five hours in. I'm gonna do a little pearl one. I like the pearls too. Yeah, I think they're so cute. I think pearls are just so classy. These guys are a little heavy. And so I was afraid they're gonna fall, but once they I okay. bet you once they set though, they'll be like perfection. Right. Okay. Let's make up some pink. So I've got I'm gonna look in here for my guy. And then this food coloring comes with where's the guide? It tells me all the colors. Just has words. Um, has pink. Pink. So we want barely any pink because I want like a baby pink. Any fancy like Applebee's on a late night? Any questions? I love the Mickey's and the straw toppers are so cute. So cute, so cute. Five hours. That is way over Erica's limit. What's five hours? Hidden Mickey poop, someone said. <laughs> Hidden Mickey poop. <laughs> Hidden Mickey poop. I did a little gummy bear on it. Pink, yeah, pink was the last color I looked for. Okay. I'm excited to see how you do the colors. Really? Yes. It's very simple. I know you probably just put some drops in there, but <laughs> I'm just really excited to see the process. I mean, I can make a custom color for you if you'd like. No. This one's not open yet. Do you want me to do it because your nails do? Yeah, but I don't want, I can also use this back up I have. Are you sure? Yeah, I have, I have a good amount in here. But you said you wanted to use the new stuff, right? Yeah, it's I like want to try it, but don't break your nails. Dude, these are my regular nails. Okay. It's fine. Maybe a, maybe a screwdriver, like a tool. Maybe a tool. Do I have a tool in here? Maybe a bling tool. These scissors are pretty. Yeah, ah! can't. I don't. I don't want it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please don't impale me. <laughs> oh look, I've been impaled. Ooh, I don't like that noise. I know it's like nails on a chalkboard. There is there is something that says to open insert blade of screwdriver between lid and bucket and pry up all around. Okay. So maybe opening the scissors too and just using. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I just don't want to ruin the scissors. Yeah, that's that's really hard. Okay, this is how you open the bucket. <laughs> it's a challenge, man. Yeah, once you... You will need, need tools need to for this project. <laughs> You'll need a screwdriver or some scissors you don't care too much about. Uh, do you like using the food coloring instead of paint? Yes. Uh, it just is a lot more potent than paint. I did try to do some paint, but it... So the thing with paint is like, it's already colored with something pigmented and it's got a white base to it most of the time. Um, so you're kind of mixing white in with this. So like if the food coloring is pink, it's 
or red even you're gonna get like a pink to start out with so food coloring is way more potent than mixing it with paint but if you want pastel colors maybe paint's the way to go no okay no because this is white it's literally oh. mixing it with white to start so um it's you already... could probably like you just have to use a lot of paint it's gonna be a lot of paint used. not worth it and then it makes it very watery to use paint too mm. um i was watching someone who did it and they're it starts to get a weird consistency if you use too much paint. So yes, short answer is I like the food coloring better. Ain't fancy like Applebee's on a date night. I just want to like dip my fingers and hands in it. It looks so, oh yeah, that consistently consistency looks better anyways. Yeah. And I want to whip up a bunch of the pink because it's a pretty color and getting it on the floor. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. Okay, I love the drama. Okay, do I need more than that? I would do a little bit more. Okay, hold, hold. Hold, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, the sound. I know, it's so, it's like ASMR. Yes, that's that a cool fine. sound. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on because I don't want it to dry out. And this stuff will stay the consistency that it is as long as it's airtight. Like this has actually been sitting for probably over a month. Um, so if you want to mix up a bunch of different colors, you can store them in airtight containers and, or like Ziploc bags even, and the colors will stay good. So if you're doing like a party or anything like that, and you want to have people make different colors, you can pre-make it for everyone. Okay. So all you gotta do is just put a little color in there and that's it and mix it. Um, what product is that? It is, um, so I'm going to start with like four or five drops only. It is lightweight spackling. I got it at Home Depot. You can get it on, I got it at Lowe's, but you can get it on Amazon. It might be cheaper because Dustin said that it went up 10 bucks since the last time he bought it for me. Um, so this is like a hot, hot pink, but once it mixes in, it's going to be a pastel pink. So you guys can see the pinkness of that. Wait till it mixes in. It's going to be pastel, and I'm only starting with five drops because I don't want it to be too pink, and if it, you can always add more, but you can't always take away. Mm -hmm. Was spackle. Yes, it is spackle. Lightweight spackle. This would be a good project, too, if you've done a home project and just have leftover spackle. Yeah. You know? I know. All the supplies needed for, like, the crafts these days are stuff from Lowe's and Home Depot. <laughs> I'm like, pretty soon they're just going to need to, like, market to crafters. Right. Uh, what do I think of the Bright Pad? I think it's a waste of your money. Are you getting close to our donation number, Stephanie? So if you're just joining, we're raising money for Christ Hope International. Um... I'm trying to think of funny stories that I have told or haven't told, like, from Africa. But I think Tiff's not heard many of them. I haven't. Um, one of my favorites is always, it's a lot around food sometimes. So when we're eating, um, and it, it always has to do with, like, the language barrier and something. Just, like, but cultural food, differences. Food just tends to always be the issue. Um, but we <laughs> were sitting around, and we're eating guacamole you know as you do so but they have these amazing huge avocados and mind you they do not speak spanish there ever so like you don't realize how much like i use spanish a lot like yeah. i say gracias like i just say gracias for oh, everything yeah. you know or like um i don't know you just don't realize how much you use it and then they're like what did you just say and you're like oh i'm speaking spanish but there's mexico is like really far from here so you guys don't speak any right. of that here um so Guacamole is a word that they have never heard. But so they're eating, you know, we're eating the most amazing guacamole because they're, you know, in the tropical area where the avocados are huge and so yummy. And so I'm like, can I get some more guacamole? And one of the uh, guys that works there is just like, what is the word that you just said? And I was like, guacamole. And he's like, guacamole. <laughs> He thought it was like a funny word. Yeah, he's like, what is guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm like, well, what do they call it's it? That. That's exactly. I was like, well, what do you call it? He's like, avocados. <laughs> <laughs> avocados. <laughs> I was like, because, so, and then I found out later 
that it was actually one of the missionaries that came from the United States who taught Mama Felisa how to make it because they have like a full on cook for them uh-huh. that, you know, they give her a job and she cooks for the missionaries all the time and she's amazing at cooking. And so if you ever go over there and you like to cook, cooking with her is really fun and then you can teach her things with their ingredients that they don't know how to do. That's so cool. And so and so I was telling Joe the story who works for Christ Hope, but in this you know, on this side of the world, and she was, he was like, yeah, blah, 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 taught her how to make guacamole, and I was like, well, he didn't tell her what it was called, because they all think it's just called avocado. That is so funny. So, yeah. I have a question around food. Yeah. What was, like, your favorite African dish? Oh, so many yummy things. Um, So, there's this, uh, chapati is, like, a deep fry, it's like Mexican manuelos. Do you know what those are? Not really. So, they're, like, deep fried tortillas but like thick Uh uh-huh and so it's so good um and then you eat it with like everything but there's uh green grams or it's like this mixture of like just really good beans like everything's very like earthy because obviously like they have to eat a lot of like vegetation right rather than meat so because meat is expensive but we you eat a lot of there's sakuma wiki which i learned it's like a it's like a slang word uh-huh. for the food. It's it's Swahili for scoot you through the week. It's like our top ramen basically. Oh. But it's literally like these greens that they just throw in a I don't even know how they make it, but it's good. And what's it called? Sakuma wiki. Sakuma wiki. Sakuma wiki. Ooh, I like that's like the guacamole. Guacamole. Right. Yeah, like okay, <laughs> guacamole is a weird word, but sakuma wiki is not I'm like but yeah, no, I sakuma love that. wiki. And then there's ugali, which is like this um, it's like a corn maize flour that you like grab with your hand and then you scoop up your skumawiki with it and eat it and it's it's really good. Do they eat with their hands? A lot of the time, yeah, okay. they do. And then they're, it's so cool to watch just like different cultures, but like the little kids, when you pour them hot, hot soup, they take their cups and they dump it into cups and don't like the lady from remember the lady from um IHOP that had her coffee cup down here oh, and she's yeah. like pouring it from up yeah. here. Um she like would would be like you're so cool but the kids do that with their soup they'll dump it from one cup like all the way up here and what it does is it cools it down so they don't have to blow on it interesting so we blow but they go like this and put it into different two different cups that's so interesting and i bet you they got it down where it's oh yeah like it's not yeah that they don't they don't spill it or anything that's crazy they're like four the kids like cook it like three like i have video of little kids like cooking outside their homes and they're like tiny little babies like frying up stuff outside oh my gosh yeah that's so sweet it is it's they're just because here it's like if we had a three-year-old in the kitchen cooking it would be like i don't know it's just like not a norm (laughs) (laughs) i'm mixing good (laughs) yeah it's not a norm yeah there's a lot of things that you realize like oh wow we really um underestimate our kids over here Mm -hmm. a lot there's kids walk themselves to school like five miles there i mean granted a lot of them live in like villages and they know everybody and so there's not a ton of people in the city it's different there's a ton of people in the city there but the kids still walk themselves to school five miles there and back right and if you ask a question like how like you just you you're just dumbfounded a lot by like Okay. Um, I think you hit the nail on the head. We underestimate our kids because, like, even Emmy does stuff to this day, and I'm like, how How did you know how to do that? Like, what? Like, you can do that? Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, Mom, I'm eight. And I'm like, gosh, I need to give you a little bit more freedom to, like, yeah. explore and be and just kind of, you know. Right. And it's amazing that we have the, you know, privilege to do a lot of things with our kids that they can't over there, but there's a lot of things that we have just like sacrifice because we have laundry mat like we have laundry you know washer and dryers and some of us don't even have our kids use our washer and dryers or Mm -hmm. fold their own clothes when these kids literally there's one volunteer that she wakes up every morning and she gets her kids you know her and her daughters go five miles to get their water for the day they bring it back she gets ready for the day they have water for cooking they have water for cleaning they have water for anything they need drinking and then she walks to Christ Hope's, uh, you know, headquarters uh-huh. to serve for the whole day and then comes back. And her kids have done what they need to do with the water that they've gotten. And then she gets to use the rest of it for food. And they do that every single day. Wow. And it's just like, 
we complain when we're like, oh, I haven't done laundry in two weeks. I have no clothes. You know, you're like, you do have clothes. You just have four piles of it sitting there waiting to be thrown in a machine. Yeah. You know, so like. But where the water's hooked up, already coming into your, you know, machine. Yep. It's crazy. Yeah, it is very, it's very eye-opening and it's hard to come back and not be like. So thankful. <laughs> thankful, but like also get like a little peeved at people when they like complain about things because yep. they don't complain at all like I said so this is the color I got with five drops and it's like perfect do you think it should be any more pink no it's okay. like perfect yeah so five drops of this no paint needed um come on guys so close how close are we oh we're 200 away oh my goodness we have a three thousand dollar goal and we're at 1101 I'm not even close to being done with this craft yet so we got a little bit of time that is literally like what 40 donors mm -hmm. 40 raffle tickets 40 and tickets. remember if we hit 3000 she's adding another prize valued at uh, up to $150 yep. so that's what huge. should we be since i can guarantee yes. we're going to hit it what we're going we to give? hit it we're not leaving this video until we hit it <laughs> what should we give away uh um, wait let's ask them first what they think that you should give away okay what do you guys think i should give away i'm not going to forget putting the tip in this time Good job. i'm going to do a different I'm like looking around too, like you were doing. It's like, do they want it to be like a product that just gets shipped to them, or do they want it to be something handmade by Tay? Oh, handmade like by me. Like something like this, like sending them like a. This cute... is it a hundred. I know, I know, worth. I know. But sometimes, you know. Right. Maybe we'll have some handmade stuff by the end of this event. You, you could even put together like a little handmade basket of all the crafts for the week. From this. Yeah. Oh, well, you did a huge sign. Stuff is like half done. That's the problem. People are like, what do you do with your crafts when you're Never done? Mind. I'm like, I'll just um, zip my lips. I start the next video and I forget about the one I didn't finish. She has a room of like, not the unmentionables, but like the forgotten. That's the room the of unfinished the crafts? Yeah. That's the, that's just crafts that I need to get done. I know, but yeah. it reminds me of this. Right. Like, you'll do part of it and then you'll be like, this goes for the next, you know? Yeah. Well, and yeah, and like a lot of the stuff that I make we it's all for photography basically because i'm like the front is done the back is not so done right uh thanks monica s for donating Woo, monica hey, s. so um we are we were 200 away before monica s donated and anybody else who's donated we need 40 more raffle tickets purchased to get to our three thousand dollar goal by the end of the day so and then, what am i gonna add um bling kits Ooh, blanket. Okay. A blanket is almost that value. Yeah. We said up to 150 You just got to make your blankets back in stock so that you can make one. We're working really hard, you guys. I promise. <laughs> you have no idea how much behind the scenes are going into it. And then once I get all the bling and everything down, we won't have to worry about out of stock stuff. As far as we can, not on our end at least. Yeah. I'm trying so hard to like get it ASAP. Yeah. It's a process, you guys. It's yeah. a process. Yeah, it's a lot. But we do, we need that bling. But yeah, princess kit could be a good one. That would be um, awesome. Some blinged Mickey ears. Oh, cute. Uh, I'm talking about just a product I can get you guys on Amazon. <laughs> and honestly. You know what I loved when I went to Disneyland that I thought was like overrated until I saw them in person too, which would be a cute giveaway is like a lounge fly backpack. Oh, dude. I've got like 800 of them. I know, but those are so cute. Emmy got her first. You thought they were overrated? I did. And then my daughter wanted one so bad when we went to Disney, and I'm like, oh, no. Actually, the Disneyland ones are very overrated. She got the three cats that are like the aristocrats, uh -huh. Oliver and Company, and the yeah. Geppetto one. Yeah. And they're like stacked, and she saved her money. It was a $100 bag, and she bought it with her own money, and she wow. adores it. Like, yeah. Loves oh, yeah. It. That's all she wanted from Disney was a lounge fly backpack. Yep, that was the girl's big Christmas gift last year. Aww. But I, I'll have to show you my favorite stores. Uh, Box Lunch. Uh, there's a couple that have popped up in the mall lately that carry really cute ones. So the thing about Disney is, like, 
you'll get a bag that a lot of people have. Right. But if you find the stores that carry like the one of a kind lounge plays, they're insane. Well, some I was are seeing, so crazy. It was fun in Disneyland because everyone has a different lounge fly, and some you can tell are like super limited edition, mm -hmm. and some you were you know seeing repetitive mm -hmm. of like Emmys is like you know you, you've seen a lot of those ones. Right. Uh, but there were some really cool ones there. There's a Bing Bong backpack that mm -hmm. was so cute. So yeah. I think that would be a cool prize. A lounge fly cute. bag. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna be adding it to the donation thing. So you'll have to buy a raffle ticket to get into it. But a lounge fly bag or any other ideas? I love box lunch. So how about a hundred dollar gift card to box lunch? Ooh, that would be a good one. Because their lounge fly bags are so cool. That's a great idea. Uh, and then someone can pick their own. But we have to get to $3,000. So, Steph, how are we doing on that goal? And just to, like, in the raffle, too, there's this Cricut. There's a dream bop mm -hmm. cart. Mm -hmm. Cart? Dream cart. Dream cart. There's the influencer one. Which I will be downstairs, I think, um, at 1 p.m. doing my live down there on the dream cart. So if anyone wants to see it. Oh, there's so many good things, you guys. Yeah, the Icon Art Stencil. We've got 14 Influencer. Let me let me see Steph's little note she gave me so I know the numbers exactly. I keep freezing when I'm, like, double-chinning. <laughs> like, that, that is so cute. Um, 19 different winners from Influencer Donations, 4 different winners for Team Member Donations, plus Icon Art, Expressions, Create Room Co., and Maker from you. And Tiff, 27 total chances to win, plus one more if we hit 3,000 by today. It'll be a $100 lounge fly gift card, but to box lunch. Because okay. that's where you get bags like this one. Did you see this one? No. That's cute. This is insane. And the little straps Oh my are... gosh, the straps are the things. Yes. The little measuring tape. Yes, and it's her whole Cinderella dress. This is my, like, I, I want to take it to Disney so bad, but I don't want to, like, ruin it yeah, at I all. I want to bling it for sure, but it's so cute. Obviously, like, I haven't even opened it, but I got that one at Box Lunch. That's cute. Um, I got all my Villains ones from Box Lunch, so, or maybe I got those ones on Amazon, but Box Lunch, oh, you guys have to see Landis's because we took it to Disney, and everybody was like, where did you get that? What one is it? It's an embroidered, it's all brown, um, and then it has embroidered flowers all over it, and it's just a subtle Mickey one. Aww. Oh, I love that. And it, like, I, it took me two years to find the perfect one for her. Really? Yeah. It's, like, a thing. Like, people, like, these are highly sought after, like, prints and... Yes. And I don't buy expensive things like that unless it's, like, something we've all been really wanting for a while. Well, and if they last, you know, if they're made well, which they look like they are... Oh, yeah. Then I'm all for it. Yep. Oop. Air bubble. So... You guys can see how easy it was to make a color. You can whip those colors up and do, um, well, this is definitely a different, Consist well, it's a different consistency, consistency and then the tri it's like a triangle tip. Oh, you're using a different tip. Yeah. Gotcha. But I want to put some cuteness on these guys. My stomach's growling because I'm hungry. <laughs> Good thing we brought our lunch today. Yep. Oh, yeah, I need to make one that has just a head for the little... Ears? Yeah. This guy, these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are so cute. Oh, it's a little big, but they're still super cute. No, those are adorable. Okay. Those so are cute. cute. I love. Box Lunch also donates a meal. Oh, I didn't even know that. That makes sense why it's called Box Lunch. Huh? Oh, that's cute. Um, I actually reached out to them last year, and they did respond, but a little late, and I was like, um, they wanted to do something, but maybe maybe we'll convince them to do some more partnership stuff with us in the future. Um, just got a few raffle tickets. Yes. Thank you, Sam. Love it. Thanks, Cynthia H., for donating. Yay. Thanks, Summer K, for donating. Thanks, Samantha T, for donating. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, did we hit it, Stephanie? Thank you, Ashley S, for donation. We hit the $3,000 goal. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> All right. Dang, you guys, that was so quick. Right? They are.
are on it. We will add that gift card today, so then you can donate and be entered into that if you want to. I'm gonna make a I cupcake. love it. Um, yes, I love it. You guys are awesome. That's so cool. I kind of like this um, for every thousand you hit, adding something else in the raffle because it yeah. just like if you you'll already... like it until Saturday when we're literally it's okay. <laughs> up I'm, till here 2 I'm here for it. I'm here for it. No, I know it's it's always a good time. I actually I speak from no experience because J Dog and Stephanie did it last year because this was during the holiday season and I was doing another event that night for Christmas and they were like oh my gosh that was so much work oh I can only imagine yeah we should start like now <laughs> oh writing them down yeah. yeah I'm sure that will Stephanie's the best at like coming up with automation for this I know I'm so excited that means we're a fifth of our way to our actual goal yeah that is so exciting so tomorrow the goal is to hit ten thousand dollars. Ooh, that's a hefty prep. Like that's a hefty one. It for every thousand we will add for sure. But if we hit ten thousand, I will add that heat press on there too. That is huge. I promise that. And nothing is unattainable because God works in amazing, mysterious right? ways. And someone might just be like, have it on their heart to donate a huge mm. amount. And I just, you never know. We you could wake up tomorrow know. starting there. So Also, I did want to mention, there's two links in the description. Sorry, I totally missed these. But Melissa, which we'll talk about more tomorrow, uh, in two days, we'll be doing her cards. She's got kits, uh, small world craft kits, card kits that she's donating money to. So that's another total we'll add on to. Aww. And then um, Stephanie's also doing a height chart, which I will show on Saturday how they use. And she's donating $15 from each kit. And that will go towards our total, too. Awesome. So, so many fun things. Our total goal is $15,000. Yeah. And we will be shook. And that will actually be able to get 75 new kids ready to be sponsored. That is so big. And I'm pretty sure in the spring I will do a sponsorship event. Um, I've got to make sure that Christ Hope is aware of it before I say commit to it for reals. But, like, they have to start getting kids ready for that. So before I try to get them sponsored. Which they might already have kids ready for it. So I just, I this is just so cool. I've never been a part of anything like this. Like, Aww. you know, so it's, it's really neat. I love it. I'm glad that you get to be a part of it. Well, yeah. And I love that you use your platform, you know, for Yeah, I had others. no I, I had no idea that it would be able, like, I could. And then our first five-hour craft-a-thon was so crazy. And I just was doing a matching event because we were going to give... We had been saving all year to give $10,000 to do a care point. And so we wanted to see if anyone wanted to try to match it. And then we were like, wow, people really want to be a part of this. And it's so cool. It's so much bigger than me to be able to get other people involved in it that I never anticipated being able to do this. Yeah. Well, I love it. Thank you. I, I love it. A lot of people have platforms with a lot of people and don't do any good with it. So it's cool that... You know, the people yeah, who do use honor. it. Like, it's it's literally a privilege, you know? Like, yeah. you guys are human beings. I don't, I didn't create you guys. You guys are awesome. Aw. I love that. Oh. This fundraiser is how I found you three. Yes, and Stephanie reminds me that, and it's, it's a God thing, because getting Stephanie on my team was a God thing. Um, and knowing that that was already being orchestrated before before I thought it was started to be orchestrated because I thought it was started to be orchestrated the day I started praying for a team member because <laughs> I was like, I need I need someone on my team ASAP. Um, and I prayed and Stephanie wasn't going to apply, but then she did. And it's been so amazing. Aww. So it's just, it's one of those things that, I, I leave all those things up to God because he knows way more than I do what I need. So That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, he, he's got me. He's it, got me. But it just goes to show, like, you getting on your channel and doing something for somebody else or, you know, others mm -hmm. has brought so much here to your yeah. business yeah. and the friends in your life. And 
community and all that. Oh yeah, it's I can't I couldn't I couldn't have orchestrated any of it better myself. Like I love that. I if I would have I would have ruined it already. You know. Yeah. Uh, giving your business to God is like my first step. I always try to tell people if they are believers because it's like. The minute you can let him run it, he knows who you need. He knows where you need to go. He knows the doors you need to shut. He knows mm-hmm. the doors that he's got ready to open for you. Um, and I've, I mean, I've prayerfully let go of working with Cricket with, you know, the Lord's assistance and lots right. of things. So it was just, and he's always come through with so many amazing things. I love that. Right? It's hard to let go, though. It's very hard, but... Once you get, like, it's easier for me to let go now knowing, just trying to remember the things that he has done already. Right, and when you did let go, seeing what happened when you finally did release control. Yeah, it's like that picture, have you seen that picture where Jesus has, like, a huge bear behind his back and the little kid doesn't want to let go of the little baby bear? Uh Uh-uh. And he's like, I have something better for you, but he's not telling him that he has something better for him. No, but I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, getting a new thing of spackle is, like... The business. Yeah. Makes sense. And it could be this tip is a little easier to deal with, too. But are these not so cute? Those are adorable. I will post pics. Because they will be used for all of our party decor stuff. How cute. These will be good Valentine's Day content, too. Yeah, those are cute. I thought of the bear pic, too. God is so cute. Or cute. <laughs> God, God is, is so cute. cute. God is so good. <laughs> I know. That's okay, hilarious. I have enough to do just like some toppers. Let's put these over here so you can see them. Look how cute that is! Yeah, those can are you imagine adorable. like serving these up at a party and being like, you can't touch them though, or you can't eat them? <laughs> you can just look at them. Right, don't do that at a kid's party. Right, they will hate you. Right. All right. I'm I, gonna... I love the straw toppers. Aren't they so cute? Yeah. So in a couple hours, I'll just shove some straws through the middle of them. I'll show you guys tomorrow what they all look like when they're, they might be fully dried by tomorrow, but they'll be dry by the end of the week for sure. And we'll just put them somewhere nice to dry and they'll be all good to go. So pretty. I, I like the colored spackle. Yes. It's so much fun. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to show how easy it is to do white. Plus, these are going to be more for, like, wintery, wintery colors. Yeah, like a winter wonderland or whatever. Yep. Okay, do we have an actual total? Okay, we are at $3,100. Dude, that's so awesome. I'm so excited. So that means when we hit 4000 we will add something fun tomorrow. If we start the day with 4000 We'll add something, and then if we end with five thousand, we'll add another thing. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I do too. So that means if we do get to our goal, that's well, it's like thirteen more prizes that you guys could enter for, and then yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Be thinking of prizes because I oh, know wait. we're gonna hit thousands. We're at three thousand two hundred and twenty dollars. Yes. I just realized she said that. That's incredible. We were waiting to hit three thousand, and then we surpassed it by another two hundred and thirty dollars. Yep. That is so cool. Isn't that cool? And it's cool that you guys can donate anytime as well. A lot of her influencers, too, have this linked in their bio. Yes, they do. And I will link it in my bio, too, as soon as my... Yeah, I'll just change my whole link over. My link tree is being wonky right now. Yeah, I um, think that helped having it in the link trees because people... Yes. The Devil Diaries, I saw that and I was like, girl! Yeah. So I'll be live on Instagram just hanging out, crafting some more stash at 1 o'clock, so in about an hour and 40 minutes from now. Um, And I believe Katie's joining me. Maybe some other people are joining me. How fun. It's a party. It's a party. Okay, these are addicting to make. So grab some friends, grab all the supplies that you need, caking stuff, and make some fun things. I can't wait to show, I can't wait to put this one on my cup. Yeah, that one's the best. Yeah. It's perfect. The size. Yes. It's like a little bit bigger is better, but not too big like the like this one. But it's so cute. Like I like that one. I, like I would it too, I would drink out of that. I feel like you need a longer straw. Do they make longer straws? I don't know. Cuz I feel like my mouth would be right in between my ears. So you can go crazy. What I did to make these though, oh my, I didn't even do that with this one. What I did was I took parchment paper and I 
put it over this with a rubber band oh. and then I just piped on top of this so it actually nests a little bit over it but it's kind of like rough on the bottom so I don't know if you want to like put some I love that you did it interchangeable vinyl. though yeah that's genius everything's interchangeable in my life you do you do do that and you yes. know what would be cool too is the tumbler makers who do like the drips like almost like the what do you guys call it like chamoy or whatever on the sides or like the drip chamoy yeah it's like this like Mexican you know like when they dip like Trulies oh. and stuff, and they like, like the, like chocolate. Yeah, you could do chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you could do a chocolate. Chamoy. Yeah, hold on, let me I don't know what chamoy is. <laughs> are we are we frozen? No, it's low power okay. mode. Do I just hit close? Close. Yeah. Okay. We'll be we'll be going. Okay. Okay. Did we freeze? I hope not. Okay. Smart idea. Um, it's a brown red spice. Oh, you're talking about like, like, like that you put on micheladas. No, it's different. It's like a, like they said, it's like a, a wet kind of mixture and you can dip like a truly can in it and then like lick the sides right. and drink. Right. I'll okay. just show you. <laughs> okay. That's what they do in Mexico. I didn't know it was called chamoy though. Yeah. Cause it's like different than tahine. Tahine is like the powder, but this yeah. is like a goo, but maybe it has tahine in the goo. Yeah. That's what I thought. It was just like, maybe that's what it is altogether. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were frozen. Okay. Aww. Dang it. So I don't think we said anything fancy there. Okay, we will see you guys tomorrow. I am going to be making the uh, vinyl decals for all of these. And that will be a perfect file for me to add to the new giveaway. Because I haven't made the, the files for these yet. So I will make the files for what we're going to do tomorrow. And those will be the files you get when you donate for the lounge fly bag. The box lunch. Cute. So I, I love it. So I will list that. Um, oh, they could hear us. Cool. <laughs> Nope, not your internet. It was us. All right, we will see you guys manana tomorrow. Until then. I can't remember how to say tomorrow in Swahili. I can't. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.